Hello, this is Behind the Scenes in Our Zoo. true story about this young man who comes back from the First World War. His brother has been killed and he's, I think, got some sort of shell shock. And the only thing that seems to console him, to help him, are animals. And I think he's suddenly found something that brings peace to him and drives him as well at the same time. You have to charge admission, you're getting this for free. One thing leads to another and he starts to think about said things and he sees his house, Oakfield House. And he starts to get these ideas in his head of maybe opening a zoo. I mean, there really was a man, George Moss said, who came back from the trenches and decided that he was going to build a zoo near Chester. That, I mean, when you actually stop to think about that, that's mad. And it's just quite fascinating to know that you're playing someone's part and it's a real life story. It shook me a little bit when the auction was on. It suddenly brought it home to me that this was about my family. 3,500. Any advance? It's a great new experience and it's lovely at my age to have all this. I feel as if I've got a second childhood. The first scene we shot actually on the first day was working with a camel. The incongruity of this two humped camel in a backyard in Bolton was brilliant. What makes this programme different and special is that 25% of our cast are not human. There's a wonderful Dr. Doolittle element to, to this story. I didn't know how it was going to be with like Mortimer because it's not a normal thing where you just have a monkey on your shoulder or on your arm. But I've worked with it quite a long time now and I've got so used to it. We filmed at a huge number of locations on the show. We've been all over the place. We've been to Liverpool, we've been to Warrington, Stockport, you know, the councils in Stockport and, and Rochdale have been incredibly helpful. So, you know, we're pretty well travelled production. I do find that when you work in the North, we have a kind of common bond if we're all nor Northerners. And I always think Northerners have a much better sense of humour. I should get shot for saying that. But they're, they're ready for a laugh. I couldn't have asked for anyone better to play my little sister, really. She's amazing. Oh, we call her the 40-year-old midget. <laughs> the stuff that she comes out with. <laughs> she just sounds like an older person trapped in a, a young person's body. Well, I think he's my toy boy, you see. That's what I've decided. Because <laughs> he's younger than me. I love him. <laughs>